Right folks, I'm back over in the Roman settlement at the top of Velvet Bottom. All over there you've got all the humpy bumpy ground, all to do with potholes and mining and I've done all that in the past. I don't know if I'll have time today. There might be a chance to go up on the way back and just have a quick look over there. But uh, that's a little area on its own. The aim today is to go over where all those trees are. Look over there. And walk around the nature trail. Now the other day, well it's two weeks actually, I can't believe it's two weeks ago. <laughs> it's because I'm just putting the video on now I think. It feels like it was like a couple of days but... I was obviously walking from the, going that way, um, part of the Cheddar Circular hike that I did. This is just to remind people, I know if you've listened to the previous video, so we've always said that, yeah I know, but some people come in at different times on the videos, so it's just really a, a reference, or if they're skimming through, you know. It's, I'll tell you what, it's quite hot now. I would say it's easily 25, 26 degrees. I've taken shade where I can, uh, when I can. Um, I've had little rests by trees, drinks of water. Um, so... So yeah, I'll be going over there, and I know I've wandered through past those trees over there before now, and up over there, where I've just seen an old couple go. Um, it's over here by these cars, where the plaques of the Romans and the no, Victorians mainly, um, those lovely plaque images of the black chimneys and the donkeys. I won't take them again, because um, we can use the ones that I've done before. So here I come again. Make sure we shut the gate, country code and all that. So now we go. Welcome to Blackmore Reserve. These are all new, um, but they've been, they've been here since I've been videoing, but um Adder Baskin season, that's what it is. Just warning you if you want to go roaming off, it's probably not a good idea. Although I forget sometimes and still do it. <laughs> I do, I'm terrible. That's, uh... Yeah, it's looking a bit faded, but then different flowers will appear, you see. <laughs> In all seasons, there's... I mean, the trees and the ferns I've noticed, even from two weeks ago, a lot of the ferns further back have already going yellow. But then you get other flowers appear. So here's the plaque here with the chimney. I can't imagine anyone sitting in their car in this heat. I'll just go up to it briefly. The Blackmore Reservoir, well not Reservoir, Reserve. A landscape from lead mining. So that's really just reminding us of it again. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off for a minute and I'll turn back on when we get over by the slag heaps. Right, I'm coming into the start of the nature reserve now. I'm just gonna zoom in across the field over there. Right over us. So I think this church is over that way somewhere. What's that there sticking up? Yeah, the, the, the school and all that are over there, the charter house and the church. I've been in the church, the church might even be there. i got a feeling the church might be there actually. Anyway, this is the start of the, the walk and I'll tell you what, it's baking hot. But I'm enjoying it, I feel more comfortable now, uh, but I'm enjoying the heat. I love my bones being warm, a bit like one of them adders. I'm keeping an eye out, I say, come out, come out wherever you are. It would be great to see a snake. They'd be sort of down there. I've been down that path before, I wouldn't do it today though. But they should really be out, the snakes. You know what I mean? They should be curled up somewhere. Camouflaged, of course. 
in places like this, catching the sun. Catching the sun. They hear me coming, they're running away, see? So it's like, well, these are perfect little places for them. I came up those steps the other day. I'm carrying on this way, though. We're going on the little nature trail now, everyone. It's just a trip through the woods, and then there's a few features I'm hoping to capture once again, although they've been all been done before, like the um, smelting tubes and things like that. This area is well used by schools to educate children about history, geography, geology, all that sort of thing. It's well used by schools. And us retired people. I mean, I think of all the years I never had time. Basically, it's not that I didn't want to. Never had time to do all this. I mean, I was also a runner, by the way. I was a runner. So I was doing lots of running, marathons, and raising money for charity. <sighs> right, we were down near there where the pond is the other day. I'll just go down briefly, just to remind us. And the aerials are up there on the hill that we passed, a reference point. And this is all the slag. This is all the remnants of the slag all over here, look. And the, and the ponds, or the little lakes, whatever you want to call them. But we'll go back on the trail. We can come off again if you want to see the great big slag boulders. I haven't seen a note notice for the trail. I found it by accident years ago. And there's different pathways, see? There's, you can go that way. Um, there's the old ruin. Oh yeah. We'll go that way though in a minute and we'll probably come back that way. Here's these big old trees. Oh yeah. Signs all over them, look. Hello big tree, how you doing? This could be an elm. It's very big and old. Let me just touch it and say hi. Hi. Oh god, I can hear bees in there. Let's keep away. It's a wasp nest. Guarding. A wasp nest guard in there, look. In that hole. Loads of them, so I'm going to get away. They, I don't want them attracted to me. But um, that's an old tree. We're just sort of going, weaving and out for now. So that, and there was a building there I never got near either. There's an old building there, look. And we'll probably come out this way later. I'll take some pictures of that tree on the on the way back. Now, the trail goes on there, but we'll just deviate again, just briefly. Actually, the smelting tubes are very close. Yes, they are. They're just over there. We'll have a look at them in a minute. But, uh, just a bit more view of the, this area. A bit more view of the slag heaps. And the big boulders. I, I won't go up to them, but they're great big boulders. I've done them all before, of course. Big slag boulders, they are. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a picture. <laughs> do some pictures and I'll come back on the video again in a second. I want to rejoin the trail. So, over and out for a minute. I don't know if you can get in. I think I've climbed over the... Gen oh, there's those slag heaps again. I think I've climbed over the fence before now. Um, I have been in here. Um, but they're not, they're not really allowing people in these days. Oh, yes you can. Yes, you can get in. Right, I think this was built by the Victorians. But what's to say that the Romans didn't have something out here as well? Now, right at the end, they look like two eyes when you get closer, peering at you from the bushes. This, like I say, it's all been done before. 
Just reminds you of the Romans how this is laid out, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? But I should think it's more likely the Victorians. That block there, that's a big tube. That's a smelting tube, that one, but it's blocked off on the end. But the ones I've, I've been right inside the ones on the end. I'm not going to get in them today. I might not even get that close because it's quite brambleized today. I just zoom in, look. Like two eyes poking out. They go back quite a way. They're the smelting tubes. And that's where the slag would be produced from. The waste product when you extract the lead. Well, there might even be lime kilns, I'm not quite sure, but I think it must be something to do with lead. This is a good place where you'd probably find a snake as well, because of the rocks. This is nice little habitat along, around here, look. We'll see how far we can get without falling in the ditch. Looks like some recent fall here. We'll get as far as we can. Oh. Got to be careful. You you see that? That looks like on the surface. That's not. That's deep. Each side's deep. So you might think, oh, I can just tread there. No, you can't. So just be careful. Just take your time, Shell. Take your time. People love to see all this sort of thing. Not everyone has seen my bomb video. Right, now, I must have been very fit in the past, although I think I walked up this channel. I don't know if I actually got on the, the wall as such. I think I actually walked all the way up through there, which you can't really do. If you had a stick, you could. So I'm getting quite close, everyone, but I'm not going to get down there because it'd be very hard for me now because I've only got short little legs. I don't know about walking on that side. That looks more precarious to me. But anyway, here's the, the eyes of the hills. The hills have eyes. And there is a type of gate there and it is blocked off at the other end but I have been in there I probably walked quite a long way but they might think that you could um, it could collapse on you or something there's some lovely berries on the on these branches here isn't there They're pretty elderberries I think red ones Right, so there they are, folks. People will be coming in and out, getting stuff out. Um, whatever they did, however they worked. Like big ovens, aren't they? Right, I'm going to try and take a photo and then I've got to turn around. Overnight. Right then, I'm back on again. I just had to turn off for a minute because... Um, I don't know if there's tips on me, what? Oh. So it was a bit precarious walking along there, so I had to be careful. But that's the old smelting tubes, that's part of the history here. And there's one inside there. Uh, I've never got out, I don't think, to see the inside of this one. But, uh, and I think they are the, Victor the Victorians built them, but there could have been some old smelting works before them, if you know what I mean. So, fortunately, the gate was open, even though it looked like you couldn't get in. Um, it wasn't actually locking the gate. There could be another tube in there, by the way, anywhere where you see a bank like that. So, carrying on the walk, that was quite hot up there. And there have uh, been some protection cream has got in my eyes now. It stings actually. It's horrible stuff. Ugh. 
So there you are, let's see some of the features and there's lots of features here but of course it's the summer a lot of stuff is overgrown folks a lot of stuff is overgrown so I'm carrying on from there there's the big trees over there and there's a building there we're going to carry on round the trail. We'll be passing close to those big slag lumps and getting closer to them anyway as part of the trail. But I'd like to do a little bit of photography and video while the sun was out then because it does present a completely different image of, of, of the landscape here. So I'm just going to turn off again, take a